Hey, you ever watch so much... You ever be a f freak? So you make a quiz like this? Can you guess the friends from the TV show Friends based on their mouth? Yeah, Judy Geller. I don't know who that is. Pete. Pete is played by Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's right here. I give up. Okay. Average score, 88%. I'll just be real with you. <laughs> How about Game of Thrones by mouth? Theon Greyjoy. That's you? Arya Stark. That's you. That's you. Peter Baelish. That's you. Davos Seaworth. That's you. Jon Snow. Cersei Lannister. This is Dan's favorite quiz. Rob Stark. That's your ass. Marjorie Tyrell. I'll find her. Just give me a damn second. Okay? I pass. Sansa. You're Sansa. Tywin. You're Tywin. You're the Hound. You're Melisandre. You're Brienne of Tarth. You're Jamie Lannister. You're Ygritte. He just wanted to kiss you down there. Ah, that's, that's her. Yes, okay. You're Tyrion Lannister. You're Khaleesi. You're Varys. You're Joffrey. You're Marjorie Tyrell. Average score, 92%. Maybe I'm the sicko. The office by mouth. These are just... You know what's funny? I was about to say these are just real people, you sickos. Then I realized they're, they're the same. They're actors. They're the same as the people on Game of Thrones. But for some reason, the people on Game of Thrones, I'm like, well, they're open season for freak quizzes because they're, like, they're actors. But the people on The Office are just normal people like doing their jobs. Obviously, that is not true. Michael Scott, that's him right there. Holly Flax. I'll find her. Holly. You're Holly. You're Jan Levinson, hold the gould. You're Meredith. You're Andy Bernard. You're Aaron. AKA, as soon as you see this character, stop watching the show. It's all going downhill. It's not her fault, by the way. She's just the, she's the bellwether. She's fine, but the show does not get any better from the point that this character gets introduced, okay? Daryl Fibben. Toby Flenderson. Where's my Toby's at? There he is. Kelly. Pam Beasley. Angela. Ryan. Roy. Phyllis Vance, Vance Refrigeration, Oscar Martinez, Kevin Malone, Jim Halpert, Stanley, Dwight, Creed, it's too easy. It's too easy. Friends by mouth. Stranger Things by mouth. MCU by mouth. It's Always Sunny by mouth. The Big Bang Theory by mouth. <clears throat> Oh, please. The only way she could have a contribution to science is if they start sending chimps back into space. Bazinga. Anyway, um, these quizzes are, are very weird to me. Let's go find some other ones because <laughs> this is crazy. You made this joke yesterday? Yeah, it's a good joke. It's from my favorite show, The Big Bang Theory. TV show by terribly translated title. In the Shoes of Satan. <laughs> Let's say that's The Walking Dead. Ooh, Doctors at First Irons. Scrubs. Mysterious Doctor. Doctor Who? Fogged Up Spectacles. I'm passing. So what happened was, that's how I met your mother. Kingship game, Game of Thrones, at the boundaries of reality, the X-Files, weaned relatives, that's 
Arrested Development. Surrounded by, the, I didn't know that Surrounded by the Dead was about to cut. Then I wouldn't have picked Walking Dead for In the Shoes of Satan. Drink and Let Live. That's got to be True Blood. It's about vampires. The Prince of Rap, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The Crazies. Dude, this one's tough, man. Because, like, all these shows got some craziness, but The Big Bang Theory is, like, the craziest of all. There's this one dude, Sheldon, and he's, like, he's, he's talking about a rival physicist, and he says, oh, please, the only way she could have a contribution to science is if they start sending chimps back into space. Bazinga. Fogged Up Spectacles, The Crazies. That's I've oh, Fogged Up Spectacles? I'm going to say it's Breaking Bad. The Crazies. The Big Bang Theory? <laughs> okay, Breaking Bad was In the Shoes of Satan. It makes sense. Big Bang Theory was Fogged Up Spectacles? That doesn't even make any sense. And Mad Men was the crazies. I guess that makes sense. Mad Men are crazy. TV show by terribly translated title 2. Dear Trouble. I'm passing. Cube Heads. Cube Heads? Could it be Curb Your Enthusiasm? Because they're... It's like Curb Heads? Crazy on TV. That should be 30 Rock. Dry Law, The Birth of the Mafia. Um, maybe Boardwalk Empire. Fathers Borrowed. I have no idea. Quiet, Larry. That's Curb Your... Dude, that's actually an incredible name for Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's... Is this... They think in, in Portugal, they think that uh, Susie's the main character? Shut up, you bald... You bald fuck. Fuck, fuck you, you fucking freak out. I'll see you tomorrow. Unexpectedly the father of. I don't know Raising Hope, but it seems like a show where someone might raise a kid that they didn't know they had and then got introduced to their life when they were like already 10 or something like that. That seems possible. Back to the Desk. Back to the Desk sounds to me like community. Because... Obviously, in the IT crowd, they have desks. However, Jeff goes back to college, which has desks. Beloved of the Crucifix. That's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. People will always die. That's six feet under. Bloodthirsty Angel. <laughs> Dexter? In many ways, I think Dexter is a bloodthirsty angel. And that, to me, is a life. That would be my so-called life. Okay, Dear Trouble. Gilmore Girls. Cube Heads. Fathers Borrowed. Unexpectedly the father of. I think that's Raising Hope. And then you're Full House. And I'm insane. I'm insane with it. What the frick, Dex? What the frick? You're like some kind of bloodthirsty angel, Dex. And you're my brother. Just kidding. I mean, I, I, I like the quizzes. I, I'm sorry to say, I like quizzes that are a little harder. I like quizzes that are a little bit more difficult. I'm not like other people. I like hard quizzes. Yeah, like this one. How about country by traditional house? <laughs> um, that would be Japan. That would be Korea. That would be South Korea. That would be China. Okay, that was my first guess. This would be um, the United States. Oh, yes, okay. This is Spain. It's Mexico. This is Mongolia. 
An Ernhaus. This shit is Norway. This shit is Denmark. This shit is Germany. This is Indonesia. It's, it's like playing GeoGuessr. This is the Philippines. This is uh, Thailand. I don't know this one. This is Cambodia. This is Laos. This is Vietnam. This is Bangladesh. This is uh, Malaysia. I don't know. I pass. I pass. It definitely looks Southeast Asian, though. I pass. I'm passing. What the hell? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this looks like, uh, like Bhutan to me. Looks like Bhutanese design. This is crazy. Why is your house a boat? It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm like, could this be like, um, like New Zealand? Or Australia? Or like Papua New Guinea? Or something like that? Some Pacific island with a seafaring culture? Indonesia? Okay. This to me looks like it's in the, in the Caucasus. No, it looks to me like it's in the Balkans. I'm going to say this is Albania. <laughs> it's Macedonia. I'm going to say this is Kyrgyzstan. I'm going to pass. I don't know this one. This is Greece. I know because it's the same name as a yogurt. This is Japan. House Japan. This is uh, Bhutan. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. This is Hawaii. This is New Zealand. That's pretty cool. This is Morocco. This is like Libya. This is like, um, no, this is like, um, this is like Italy. Ooh, he's crazy. This is Switzerland. Alpine countries. This shit is Iceland, dude. That is Korea. This is Russia. This is Belgium. This is Lithuania. That's the Nordic countries. It's a Baltic country. That's Lithuania. This is Sweden. This is from Midsummer. This is Norway. This is Finland. This is Luxembourg. This is not Belgium. What do you mean? You're, in Belgium, your houses aren't like... Um, sorry, I spelled it wrong. It's not like uh, they don't have fur on them like this. The Maderenzi house. Denmark. This would be France. This would be Luxembourg. This is a traditional Dutch house. This is from the Netherlands. I'm passing. I'm passing. This is um, Vietnam. This is the Philippines. This is PUBG. And I pass. What, what are you? India, of course. Southern and Eastern Africa. I didn't realize I could just put a continent in there and be okay. Where, where are you? Portugal! This shit looks so much like Frozen. It, it, it looks like Frozen. I get that it looks hot, too, because the sky is blue, but it looks like frozen. It looks like they're saying, like, love is an open door or whatever. Countries by traditional dress. Okay. I don't know if I'm the guy to be doing this quiz. <laughs> this is Lederhosen. This is from Germany. This is a Thob. This is from Saudi Arabia. 
This is a sarong. It's from India. It's from Thailand. It's from Bangladesh. It's from, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. I have heard of a sarong, though. This is Spain? What? My brother in Christ, this is Spain. Look at those shoes, man. No, wait. This is Morocco? <laughs> wait, no, it's Spain. It's Spain, dude. This is India. Okay, that you should not have used this photo. This is not a man in traditional garb. This is a man in an ill-advised Halloween costume. <laughs> This is a Canadian guy in an outfit from Party City. This is Mexico. Um, this looks like Mongolia to me. This looks like Scotland. This looks like Indonesia. This looks like Sakan Pinalan Tupan, Malaysia? I don't know. I don't know this one. This is Kenya. I'm going to say Africa and hope they just give it to me. This is South Africa. This is Central Asia. This is Russia. Okay. This is Turkey. I'm kind of insane with it. This is Central Asia. This is Poland. Is is the um is the is the extension cord part of the garb? I don't know this one. This is Korea. Spain? USA. <laughs> is it not? This is not Texas garb? I don't know. I guess it must be uh, maybe a South America somewhere. Oh, I give up. Okay. Indonesia. Greece? They be rolling out into the, in the like Athens versus Sparta combat with little pom-poms on their shoes? Are you kidding me? It's the Philippines. I thought I typed it. I typed Indonesia, didn't I? Finland! I stood the extension cord, man. Like, what is this dude doing? Argentina, of course. Country by traditional dress female. This is Japan. That's called a kimono. Wait, it's a hanfu? Okay, it's Japan. It's China. That's what I meant. That was my first guess. This is Mexico. This is Germany. This is South Africa. I thought I would try to flex. This is Kenya. This is India. This is Peru. This is Japan. This is Sweden. This is Norway. This is Finland. They love the Finnish ones. This is this is the Tudeborg Forest. This is Poland. This shit look like a herring under a fur coat, if you know what I'm saying. It looks like a country that they could have filmed Midsummer in. Maybe a Lithuania. Maybe a Latvia. Maybe a Russia. Okay. This is India. This No, we learned this. It's Indonesia. This is Spain. This is the Philippines. This is... Greece. <laughs> I don't think so. 
It's dripped out, though, that's for sure. I couldn't even guess. She's dressed like Lil Nas X. Okay, this is Arabian Peninsula. This is Saudi Arabia. This is Mongolia. This is Korea. It's the same countries every time. That's what I'm learning. So you must be like Turkey. Okay, yes. <laughs> All right. Country by traditional weapon. The Guangdao. That would be China. The Morgenstern. That's Germany. So I have to be more specific. The Makawahito. That would be the Aztec Empire. A katana. That would be the Sengoku period of Japanese history. Japan. Oh, sorry, the Kamakura Shogunate, if you want me to be more specific. The Makana. This is from the Incan Empire. Just a complete guess. The Boomerang. The Australian Empire. The Irumi. This is actually a Bloodborne weapon. What the hell is this? An Irumi. How, is this a sword whip? Shit looks like a, the risk of friendly fire is very high. I, pa I, I can't even muster a guess, honestly. The Leo Mano. I'm going to say it's New Zealand. The Pilum. Greece. Rome. Men Empire. This is the Alaskan Empire. This is the Philippines. This is Indonesia. It was Indonesia. Okay. The Kopesh. I knew this at one point. This is the Philippines. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know this one. The Kopesh. The Gastrophetes, this is Greece. The ancient Greek city-states, to be specific. What the hell is this? Why does it have a mouth face on it? Listen! What the hell is this, man? What even is it? It looks like a wine opener. It's a throwing weapon? This is crazy, man. I, I couldn't even guess. I couldn't muster a guess. A simtar. A scimitar. This is from Africa. This is from the Mali Empire. This is a uh, pass. I'm passing. This is a scimitar. Is something wrong? This is a scimitar. Sim scimitar. Was a scimitar from Spain? Spain? My keyboard's starting to give me double hits. I don't remember. I don't remember where this, this scimitar is from. What is the heck is an Arumi? What, what is this? Do you wear it? It's a sword whip? Shit seems really dangerous. I get that it's a weapon. Like, it's kind of the point, but... It kind of looks like a belt. Oh, this is the Kopesh from the New Kingdom of Egypt. This is from the Kingdom of Congo. The Simtar was from the Persian Empire and the Arab Caliphates. And the Patu was from the Maori people. Country by traditional musical instrument. I feel like I'm learning a lot. The sitar. That's from India. Or, if you love the Beatles, Liverpool. This would be from China. This is from... That's a typewriter. It's an old cash register. This is from Sears. This is from South Africa. This is from Kenya. This is from Africa in general. I don't know. I don't have an answer. The liar. This is the... S I can't... S I'm sorry. It's just the saddest photo I've ever seen. And I, maybe he's having a great time. But just picturing this guy, like, wearing street clothes and then going into a changing room and changing into this, like, tunic is has got me thinking, man. It's got me feeling a certain sort of way. 
The QAnon is from America? I have no idea. This is from Mongolia. This is from Peru. This is from the Aztec Empire. This is from the Incan Empire. This is from Chile. This is from Argentina. This is from Mexico. Okay, I knew that. That's Japan. Guitar. Guitar Japan. Uh, the piano. Austria. Europe. Germany. France. Switzerland. Italy. Italy. The Sassando. It's from the Philippines. Don't be stupid. It's from Indonesia. The Didgeridoo. It's from Australia. The Celtic Harp. It's from Celtia. I'm just joking. It's from Ireland. The Bondoria. This is an honest question. Is that Carlos Santana? Because he looks like he's ripping it up. It is? Yes, yes, no, yes, yes, maybe, yes. Looks like him. No, no, yes, yes. I think that's Carlos Santana, man. It's from Colombia. It's from Mexico again. It's from Spain. Could have told you that. I'm malicious, mean, and scary. My sneer could curdle dairy. And violence-wise, my hands are not the cleanest. This is... This is literally just a guy. He should do that top button up, though. The, 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 the accordion is from Poland. It's from Germany. It's from Switzerland. I don't know. I pass. I pass. The banjo is from the USA. All right. Well, I pass. It's from Zimbabwe. It's from Iraq. It's from Russia. The accordion's from Russia. I guess this is a Garmin, but isn't a Garmin just an accordion? This is the most Russian image ever? What are you talking about? He looks like everybody's grandpa. He looks like my grandpa. Well, he's, my grandpa doesn't play the accordion, though. <laughs> I guess, good point. <laughs> it's a Russian polo shirt? What do you, that's just an old man polo shirt. They stopped making the fabric stiff. They start making it like a lot thinner and more breathable so it can survive the Floridian heat. And then they spread out the collar. Like a young man's polo, they give it a really tight collar. An old man's polo, they spread out. They spread it way out to allow the old man neck to fit through the hole. Country by pyramid? No, come on. Country by ruined city. What would you do if they just had like a photo of contemporary Cleveland in here? Countries by epic poem. Countries by most spoken indigenous language. You know what's messed up is I thought about saying a photo of Detroit, but then I was like, no, that's too offensive. People might take it the wrong way. So I went with Cleveland as if it's not like the same thing. Like they're not the same city, but they're both like equally offensive. I'm just looking. Just looking. Asian country by food. Hot pot. It's from China. Shish kebab. Turkey? Masala dosa. Oh, it's from India. Uh, goreng is from Indonesia. I actually know that one. Pho is from Vietnam. This all looks great. This is from Korea. It's kimchi. This is from Malaysia. 
fuck. That looks tasty, man. Abgusht. There's chickpeas in it. Were these are these are any country, or were they Asian countries? They're Asian countries. Asian countries. Okay, to me, I see chickpeas. I think of like Mediterranean. So I think of Lebanon. I think of, um, but they have to be to be Asian. That's tough, man. Or is it? Greece is not in Asia. <laughs> I gotta pass for a second. I'm, I don't know this. Tom Yum Soup. That's from Thailand. This feels like a Central Asian dish to me. This feels like like a like a Kazakhstan. This feels like a Uzbekistan. I'm passing. Could be wrong. Ramen? Well, that's like Japan by way of China, I guess. Mazgulf? I'm going to go ahead and say this is the Philippines. I'm going to say this is um, Malaysia. No, we already had it. I'm going to go ahead and say this is Bhutan. Okay, I'm going back. This one should be gettable, man. Like, to me, this feels like something around, like, the, the Black Sea. And this could be Georgia. This could be Azerbaijan. This could be Armenia. This could be Syria. This could be, I don't know. I don't know. Looks tasty, looks tasty. This one's throwing me too. Potatoes, eggs, meat, beans. It's a, it's a chunky one. It's good for a winter's day. Good for a harsh winter. A harsh winter in Mongolia. Okay, I pass. I pass. It's from Israel. Don't think they get the harshest of winters in Israel, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it's quite temperate. Lots of beaches. Iran for Abgusht and Iraq for Mazguf. Barely beat the average on that one. <laughs> Country by tourism slogan. Oh, dude. Oh, no, it's got to be pictures. It's got to be pictures. Come on. Show me some pictures. Independent, but not from Europe. Countries with most and least subdivisions. What the heck? Okay, we're back. All right, all right. Can you check out the Just Be Close quiz series next? Thank you for the suggestion. Let's go check it out. Just Be Close. <clears throat> okay, okay. Let's start with science, okay? Just Be Close Science Edition. Can you guess the correct number or come within 10 of the correct answer? I love it. The atomic number of gold, 30. Einstein's first pub, when Einstein, age Einstein first published his famed theory of relativity, 47. You were 26, the motherfuckers at Chibli's age? Chromosomes in dogs, coyotes, and chickens, 38. <laughs> number of species of armadillo, 17. Yes! Minimum recommended age for a screening colonoscopy, according to the American Cancer Society, 40, 40. I was going to say 45, believe it or not. Number of taxonomic ranks in organism classification. Domain, kingdom, phylum. Donkey Kong plays. Cool, class, order, five. Genus species, seven. What? It's seven? It's seven? 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 They're not even registering it as a guess? Seven? Seven? Oh, seven? Oh, okay, you got to type, oh, thank you, thank you. 
Known moons of the planet Jupiter. I'm going to say 10. There's 79. Holy cow. Number of bits in a byte. That's 08, baby. Days in a Mercury year. I'm going to say it's 130. I typed 13. It's not, it only goes up to 100. What's wrong with me? Number of man-made synthetic elements. There's 20 of them. Largest square number that's less than 100 is 09. Okay, it's 81. I, I gave them the square root by accident. I'd like to apologize. Number of vertebrae in the average human, including those in the sacrum and the caca. 18. Number of cork types, 03. Named Atlantic storms during the 2005 hurricane season. I'm going to say 11. Number of legs on a crab, 08. Length in feet of the average human small intestine. I thought it was like a mile long. Honestly, I'm going to say... I'm going to say it's 20 feet. Number of zeros in a quintillion. A billion is nine zeros. A trillion is 12. A quintillion... Wait, I'm so stupid. A billion is nine zeros. A trillion is 12. A quadrillion is 15. A quintillion is 18 zeros. First two-digit Fibonacci number. I don't know. It's going to be fucking like somewhere around 18. Yeah. Minimum wind speed for a blizzard in miles per hour, 60. Freezing point of water in degrees Fahrenheit, 32. I got exactly the average. Dude, these quizzes are actually, I love them. They're exposing me. Just be close. TV. Answers will be 1 to 99. Maxwell Smart's agent number on Get Smart, 69. Days of competition on reality series Survivor, 28. Current pricing games in rotation on the price is right, 27. Olivia Wilde's numerical nickname in the series House, 32. Estimated viewers who watched the May 98 series finale of Seinfeld, 65. Future Century from Buck Rogers, 22nd. Emmys won by Game of Thrones. 18. 21 Jump Street. Johnny Carson served as the Tonight Show host for 26 years. Episodes of The Honeymooners. 40. I'm insane. Number of seasons of gun smoke produced. Twelve. Numerical address of Rockefeller Plaza. 30. Norman Lear produced shows on TV in the 70s. 22. Age of Homer Simpson's next door neighbor, Ned Flanders, 40, 44. 60? Ned Flanders is 60? Sam Malone's Boston Red Sox uniform number on Cheers, 19. Age of Freddie Prince while starring in Chico and the Man at his death, 23. Police car number of Officer 2D who was lost somewhere in New York. Car, car 19, car 19, I don't know. Some of the digits of the zip code on an Aaron Spelling TV show. What is 12? Number of consecutive shows Ken Jennings won? 68? 24. I beat the average. They asked me a question about Kiefer Sutherland. I know, I know. The, uh, they, uh, no, 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 no. Just be close, music edition. We're bringing it back. Number of Luft balloons? 99. Sum of digits of Jenny's phone number, 867, that's 21, 5309, that's 17, 21 plus 17, 38. He's crazy. Age of Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, and Amy Winehouse at their deaths, 26, whatever. Number of days in the Beatles week, 8, 08. Taylor Swift age-related single from her album Red, 1989. 
Uh, okay, I have type 19 and they gave it to me. <laughs> Thank God. Stevie Nicks song, Age of 17. 2008 debut studio album from Adele, 13. <laughs> Number of Tears Cried by Question Mark and the Mysterians, 50. Nervous Breakdowns Expressed by the Rolling Stones, 12. Number of Elvis songs that charted in the top 40, I say 40. 80! 50 Cent is Curtis Jackson. Grammy nominations earned by Sinatra. 20. Highway number by Bob Dylan. Highway 65. <laughs> 61, okay. Ways to leave your lover. 80 ways to leave your lover. Summer of 69. It is 6 to 4 or this number to 4, according to a Chicago song. 6 to 4 or 309. 6 to 4 or 309. 6 to 4 or 30. Oh! Oh, there you're right. It's 25 or 6 to 4. Where did 309 come from? Number of number one hits on the U.S. Billboard Country Chart by George Strait. I didn't say he's got 10. It's 44 number ones. Number of nations that make up the White Stripes Army, seven. Oh, seven. That's too easy. We still beat the average. He's a huge country star. Yeah, but 44 number ones. 44 number ones? That's like 15 albums worth of singles going, all going to number one. On the, yeah, I know on the country charts. I'm just saying, like, get some taste. Like, I had more... I have more respect. I thought greater of the country music purchasing audience, to be honest with you. He had 44 songs go to number one. What do you think? How many number twos do you think he's got? Except for all of them. Um, sorry, sorry. I'm moving on. Just be close geography edition. The number of cantons in Switzerland. 27. World capitals ending in A. You got Canberra. I'm going to say 1. 01. 49. <laughs> Number of provinces and territories in Canada. That's 13. Degrees longitude west of Dublin. Degrees longitude of Dublin, Ireland. I could not even... I'm going to say that Dublin is... 15 degrees west. And it's close to the prime meridian. I mean, the yeah, no, not the equator. The number of states in India. 19 states. Countries that end in Stan. There can't be more than 22. Wait, but there's like more than four. So let's say 14. I just wanted to get the range right. Number of countries on the UN Security Council, seven. 07, yeah, 15. Length of Hadrian's Wall. Why am I getting bazinga here? Where's the bazingas coming from? Oh, because it says it on the screen. I thought it was maybe someone made a great riff. Okay, Hadrian's Wall in miles. It's tough because I always memorize how many kilometers long Hadrian's Wall is. And to say that it's 500 and <laughs> this only goes to 100. I'd say it's 70 miles long. 70, 71. Independent countries located entirely on islands. Let's say it's 23, give or take. Number of floors of the Eiffel Tower. It's not that tall, man. I'm going to say like 65. Three? Countries that begin with a vowel excluding Y. 63. Number of countries in Africa. 46. Degrees latitude north of Moscow, Russia. 44. Oh! 
Countries through which the equator passes. 12. No, 22. Don't try to get it right. Choose your range better. Number of countries that have laid a territorial claim in, Ant in Antarctica, 07. Countries located entirely within the Southern Hemisphere. Fifty. Time zones that span China. One. It's probably actually eleven. One. <laughs> I knew it because well, it's the thing. Cause, I mean, what time zones in China? One. The time zones that the rest of the world recognizes that span China? That's two different questions. Countries that border the Mediterranean. Enough of them. I'm gonna say is. It says minimum 15, so let's say 25. Ceremonial counties of England, it's 26. Number of national parks in the United States, 80, 81. Just beat the average, beat the average. History edition, okay? Oh, please, the only way NA... <clears throat> oh, please, the only way NL can make a contribution to Sporkle is if he started making quizzes about McDonald's, Sprite, Bazinga. Population of Brazil in 1939 in millions. <laughs> 80 million. Number of points proposed by Woodrow Wilson. 13. U.S. presidents who attended college. Say 35. Number of Israeli prime ministers to serve to date. Eight. Oh, eight. Minutes in the shortest war in history, the Anglo-Zanzibar War, 24 minutes. Years Fidel Castro reigned in Cuba as head of state? 60. Off by one. Orbit of Earth, orbits of Earth made by first man flight in space. Yuri Gagarin's Vostok 1. I'm going to say he orbited the Earth 02 times. Countries that make up NATO at its 1949 founding? Let's say minimum of... Minimum of three, so let's say 13. Span in years between the beginning of World War I and the end of World War II, it's 31 years. Parallel that separated North and South Vietnam. It's the 16th parallel. Oh. Oh. Number of ruling monarchs from the House of Stuart of Scotland, Great Britain, and England. And it says 14. Oh, dude, I'm insane. Years ruled by the longest verified ruling monarch in history, Sabuja II of Swaziland. I'm going to say Queen Victoria reigned for longer than Queen Elizabeth II. Queen Elizabeth II reigned for like 75 years, right? 70 years. Queen Victoria was like even a little bit longer, right? So I'm going to say we have to be in like at least in the, in the early 80s. Let's go with like an 82. <laughs> He's cracked. Days the Battle of Gettysburg lasted. I'm going to say that was a nasty one. That was a 28-day battle. Oh, three. Okay. Hours it took Charles Lindbergh to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. It was a feat, so he must have had to stay up for a couple days. I'm going to say it took him 42 hours. Number of years to build the Panama Canal. 15. Number of lifeboats the Titanic held prior to sinking. Probably wanted to have enough capacity for everybody. I'm going to say a ship like that probably carried 4,000 souls. Every lifeboat carries 10 people, 400 lifeboats. That doesn't make sense. It only goes to 99. <laughs>
<laughs> um, 40? Nope. All right. They didn't have enough for everybody? Bro, why did they... What's the point of having lifeboats? Why wouldn't they have enough lifeboats for everybody? They famously did not have enough lifeboats. I'm sorry, I'm not James Cameron. I don't know everything about the Titanic. They thought it was unsinkable. Well, then why didn't they pack no lifeboats? They should have packed none. Just be close, just for fun edition. That was a lot better, though. I'm starting to get a handle on it. Uh, never mind. Number of bathrooms in the White House? I mean, my house has three, and the White House is a little bit bigger than mine. I gotta feel like there's at least 20 bathrooms. Self-portraits painted by Frida Kahlo. You have three bathrooms? Hey, relax. What you, one's a little bathroomette. But yeah, we got we got the master, and then we got like a we got another one. That's two and a half. Don't insult me. Don't insult. Don't insult. Don't, don't, listen. We got a staircase too. I'm not trying to flex. Chibli, Chibli, in honor of Chibli's birthday, self portraits painted by Mexican artist Frida Kahlo. That's got to be twenty six. God, that would have been a sick. Fucking clip, man. Liters of wine drunk annually per citizen of Vatican City. I'm going to say 30 milliliters once a week equals about two liters a year from mass. And then let's add in an extra two liters monthly, maybe two bottles of wine. I'm going to say it's 28 liters annually. 74? Chill out, man. Muscles in the human face. How could I even begin to guess? 31. Most children birthed by a single person. I'll hit you with a... Let's do the math. If you started real young, went to menopause, had one a year you could probably do 30. No, no. So, citation needed? Source? I made that up? That doesn't... No, I understand. Listen, I understand. You could have twins. You could have triplets. You recognize this is like the Octomom running it back eight and a half times. I don't, but I don't believe it, man. I don't believe it. Number of times you could circle the equator, taking an average human's lifetime number of steps. I don't know. I just gotta. I don't. I don't know. I on it. I. I um. Twenty nine percentage of the world population is left-handed. Roughly ten distance in feet a slinky would cover if uncoiled and laid out flat. Eighty. Percentage of citizens of Nauru considered overweight, 50. Days it would take to become a millionaire if you start at one cent and double your money every day, 26. Calories burned chewing gum for an hour, 12. Varieties of pickles Heinz produces, 57. Percent of life a cat spends sleeping, 50. Average life expectancy of a Japanese woman, 85. Minimum number of ravens in residence at the Tower of London, 26. Number of intercourse partners the average British or American person has in their lifetime, um, 100,000, 99, 100. Um, percentage of Americans that smoke cigarettes, 28. Number of stars in the Paramount Studios logo, 12. Percentage of Australians who will develop skin cancer by 70... I was not going to say 66%. 30%. That's a tough one. Just be close, sports edition. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Valentina Vasiliev and her husband Fedor Vasiliev are alleged to hold the record for most children a couple has ever produced. She gave birth to a total of 69 children, 16 pairs of twins, 7 sets of triplets, and 4 sets of quadruplets between 1725 and 1765. Bullshit. I want to see proof. They did not have 70 kids. There's no way. There's no way. I don't believe it. It was the 1700s. You could just make shit up. You'd just be like, oh yeah, all these kids, they're mine. It probably took them like 10 years just to do the arithmetic to figure out how to pretend that they, they were all theirs. Why make it up? I don't know. They're probably bored. They had nothing to do with the 1700s. Maximum weight of a stone in, as mandated by the World Curling Federation. 12 it's got to be minimum 8 pounds. So let's say 18. Ah! Consecutive games Joe DiMaggio hit safely for the Yankees in 1941. 106. Well, oh, that's not even... It gets between 0 and 99. Number of balls on the table, including your own, at the start of a regular game of snooker. So there's like... There's like 9 red... Maybe there's like a 12 red, and then there's like six other colors. I'm going to say 18. Individual NHL records owned or shared by Wayne Gretzky, like 40-something. Number of countries that had fewer gold medals than Michael Phelps. I'm going to say it's like in the 60s. Wow. Height in inches of basketball great Manute Bowl. Let's say he's 7'4". That's uh, like 88 inches. Bazinga, years in the longest postseason playoff wind drought in NFL history. Is this still true, by the way? Because I feel like the Detroit Lions must have a longer drought. Haven't they not won a playoff game since, like, the Eisenhower administration or something? They won one in 1991. They went to the Super Bowl in... Two oh, yeah, the Cardinals went to the Super Bowl in 2008. But anyway, sorry, sorry. Longest postseason playoff win drought in NFL history? I mean, it's got to be in like the 30s. Let's say 35. 51, okay. Number of teams that qualify for the Soccer World Cup for men? It used to be 32, right? Number of flags NASCAR officials use from the flag stand to control a race? I'll say 12, because I know it's more than two. Rank of secretariat on ESPN's list of the greatest athletes of the 20th century. Let's say that they were um, 11th, because that gives us great coverage. 35th? World Series championships won by the New York Yankees. 24 plus. Largest margin of victory in an NBA game? I'm going to say 60 points is reasonable. Oh! <laughs> NFL record for most interceptions caught in a career. I'm going to say, you, I, I think you could do five a season for 12 years. I'm going to say 60. Strikes required to get a 300 in bowling. That's 12. Average number of baseballs used in an MLB game. Let's see, you know, every inning, you probably got like three fouls that go into the stands, plus a couple home runs. So I'm going to say it's like 35 balls, give or take. Holy cow. Left-handed quarterbacks in the Hall of Fame. This is not even a reasonable question. Wait, if they hit a foul ball into the stands, obviously they get a new, a new ball. If they hit a foul ball down the third baseline or something, like, do they, they don't wait for the left fielder to throw the ball back to the pitcher? They just, they just run it back? Every time the ball hits the ground or a bat, they replace it? Bro, that shit is so wasteful. Why don't you lead by example? Holy cow. 
I'm, ex I'm supposed to wash my takeout containers to put them in the recycling. Meanwhile, MLB, every time the ball touches the dirt, they're like, um, ooh, I'll take a new one, please. Uh, I don't know. I say there's 20 left-handed quarterbacks. <laughs> Number of weight classes in men's and women's boxing? Eight. Oh, eight. Most points earned in a single dart throw? 60. Number of wickets used in a standard game of backyard croquet? Eight wickets. Oh, eight. Age of the oldest Olympic gold medalist winner? 55. Brought it back at the end for sure. Just be close. Religion edition. Okay. <clears throat> Commandments inscribed on the tablets Moses received in Exodus. That would be 10. Times the word hell is mentioned in the King James Bible. One. I just thought that would be humorous. In Islam, the number of times Hajj participants circle the Kaaba. I'm going to say you got to circle the Kaaba three times when you participate in Hajj. Number of noble paths to the end of the cycle of rebirth in Buddhism. So the trick question is infinity, which is also eight sideways. Youngest age at which a pope took reign on record. How, how old was Jude Law? There must have been a young pope. There must have been like a 30-year-old pope. Number of days Jesus fasted in the wilderness. 40. Age in which Sarah gave birth. According to Genesis. Sarah who? Sarah, smile. Oh, won't you smile for me, girl? Sarah, I can't hit that. Anyway, you guys like hollow notes? Um, I don't know. Well, it, Genesis, that's part of the Old Testament, right? So she must have been old as hell. She must have been like literally like 90. <laughs> I'm insane. Number of theses Martin Luther nailed on the door. It was like 60 something. 95. <laughs> Percentage of income paid in a teeth to the Roman Catholic Church. Can't be more than 10, man. That's too much. Percentage of world's population of Jews that live in Israel. Just running the numbers. Just running the numbers. Wouldn't it surprise me if it's about 15%. <laughs> Number of Greek gods who reigned from Mount Olympus. It was like 20. Psalm number that begins with the Lord of my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. What is Austin 316? That we Psalm 31. <laughs> Days past December 25th, the Russian Orthodox faith's, faith celebrates Christmas. It's like three weeks later. I'm going to say it's 21 days. Number of pillars in the Islamic faith. There's 11 pillars. Historically accepted age of Jesus when he was crucified, 33. Days in which John Paul I reigned as Pope in 1978. He reigned as Pope for 71 days. Percentage of New Zealanders who listed their religion as Jedi in a 2001 census. I'm going to say under 10%. So let's say 10. Days Buddha sat under the Bodhi tree. So he sat there for 45 days. Percentage of India's population that is Hindu. I'm going to run it back. I'm going to say 45. Longest reign of any pope. Pius the, the ninth. They tend to be a little older when they become pope. than people become king or queen sometimes. So I'm going to say that honestly, like a 45-year run as a pope is, is pretty incredible. Give me a 50. 32. Okay. Who would have thought that our best just be close quiz was actually the religion one when I know nothing about religion? Just be close gaming edition! Total of number of squares on our chessboard, 64. Number of all games released in the Castlevania series, under 30. Ah! I give up! Points earned for playing the word quacky in Scrabble. I'm going to say that's 20. Tiles in a standard set of dominoes. I'm 
Is it like a million? <laughs> Let's say 64. <laughs> 28? I thought they had one for every configuration. I thought they had like an 00, 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. A 11, 12, maybe. No, that doesn't equal 28. Yeah, there's O's in dominoes. There's blanks. Number of unique cubes in a Rubik's Cube. This is a trick question. There's 27. 26? Huh? Oh, the center isn't a cube? How do you know? There could be a cube in there. Number of playable fighters in the original Super Smash Bros.? 12. Number of holes in a Connect 4 game. I say 64. 42. Holy cow. Points earned for rolling a Yahtzee and Yahtzee? 50. Checkers on both sides of the checkerboard at the beginning of a game. Both sides? There's 12 on both sides. 12, 24? Yes, okay. Total screens in the original Donkey Kong, three. Number of territories in the strategy board game are risk. It's gotta be like 36 territories. Faces on an icosahedron die. Mm, what is 20? Toys enshrined in the National Toy Hall of Fame in its inaugural year. 15. Number of rooms in Cluedo. So it's like... There's like four on the top, four in the bottom, three in the middle. There's like 11 rooms. Number of legendary Pokemon in the first eight generations. 24 of them. All right. Hexes in Catan. I'm too lazy to do the math. This close to the end of the stream. I'm going to say that it's like... Um, I'm going to say that it's like 24. <laughs> Number of property deeds in Monopoly, including railroads and utilities. I say it's 35. Number, na number in the name of the Nintendo console introduced in 1996, that's 64. Number of different stages in the original Super Mario Brothers. It's 32. Number of circles on a standard Twister game mat. 48. I'm insane. I'm one of the, I'm one of the craziest gamers of all time. 75%, we, we almost, we had a 1.5x over the average. Yo, just be close. This quiz is, is goaded. Number of children recognized by Marlon Brando? Is this like, what do you mean recognized? Like, do, do some of them look alike? Just say 11. Hey! Oh, he is, he is getting answers from the chat. Years Little Orphan Annie appeared in newspaper comic strips. I don't know, like 30? 86 years I give up? I'm not doing that. Are you crazy? Movie edition. Official number of James Bond movie productions. 24. 12 Angry Men. Number of exes defeated by Scott Pilgrim. Bat chest. That would be eight evil exes. Number of naked gun movies if all the title numbers are added up and rounded. What is 36? Star Wars episode number of The Last Jedi multiplied by the episode number of The Empire Strikes Back. What is, what is five times eight? 40. Estimated number of years elapsed in the movie Groundhog Day before Phil Connors wakes up to a new day. 50 years. The number of first dates Adam Sandler had, 50. Plus the title number of a Jackie Robinson documentary. You gotta read the... You gotta read the whole question. The rank of Jaws as villain on the AFI's list of heroes and villains. He's in the 40s. Dresses in a Katherine Heigl film, 27. Number of Academy Award nominations earned for the Godfather trilogy, 11. Minimum daily pay as per California law for non-union background actors. 109. <laughs> it only goes up to 100. 
Intelligence quotient of Forrest Gump, 55. I'm sorry, Forrest, I didn't mean to insult you. Weight of E.T. when he stepped on the scale in the film. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at E.T., okay? He's got a big fucking head. He's got a big fucking belly. He's about, I don't know, maybe like three feet tall. He's got a... He's got a really, really thin neck and limbs. If I'm looking at that, I'm saying I, E.T. is like the textbook skinny fat body type. And he's about as tall as the average uh, third grader. I'm going to say that E.T., assuming that there's nothing going on where his body is made of different... If, it's a, if he's a carbon-based life form that has the same relative morphological composition of a human being and just a weird-looking skeleton, but that's still made out of, like, calcified bones and stuff like that, I'm going to say that E.T. probably weighed... I'm going to say he weighed about 60 pounds. He weighed 35 pounds. I don't buy it. But that does explain how he was able to make the bike levitate. Total hours worked, according to a Jane Fonda film. What is eight? They worked nine to five. Speed in Back to the Future. 88 miles per hour. Bad chest. Minimum speed in speed. You got to stay over 55. Points deduction. Harry, Ron, and Hermione each received for sneaking out after hours in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. They lost 10 points for Gryffindor. <laughs> Number of years, number of years a slave of Solomon Northrop times the number of hateful members of, it's 96, 12 years a slave to hateful eight. Flight number of the doomed September 11th United Airlines flight in a 2006 movie or alternatively also like in real life, that's flight 93. Runtime of the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas in minutes. I'm going to say it's a short boy. I'm going to say that's a 92. 70, 76? They put that shit in theaters. It's 76 minutes long. Paid 18 bucks for a movie ticket. It's shorter than a Game of Thrones episode. More movies should be that long. I'm a 90 minute Marty. Like, I'll be honest with you. If a movie is under 90 minutes, I, it's not like, oh, I'm not getting my money's worth. I just look at it and I say, this studio has no faith. They're not... Don't get me wrong, by the way. As soon as a movie crosses about two hours and 45 minutes, I'm over it too. Like the Batman I enjoyed. Shit is too long. If They, they, they need to release like a, a, not a director's cut, but like a viewer's cut of the Batman. Where they remove every scene where Colin Farrell goes, What? Falcone? What are you fucking? What are you doing? Oh, come on! What are you guys? What are you guys doing to me? If they could cut all of that out of the movie and get it down to like maybe two hours and fifteen minutes, I would. Be, I would enjoy that. Two hours and fifteen minutes. That's it. He's the best part. I know. I was just looking for an easy joke. Honestly, they could probably cut all the scenes where. Uh, Catwoman and Batman have a conversation with one another. Now, keep the scenes with Catwoman. Don't cut Catwoman, but cut the scenes where they talk. That's it. They can cut all the scenes, period. Well, it wouldn't be much of a movie then. I want to see more videos of Paul Dano as the Riddler, too. I want to see more of his YouTube videos. Thanks for your comments, guys. Today we're doing the One Chip Challenge. I heard it's really hard, but it won't be as hard as maintaining a smile on my face in the vicinity of this fucked up city. Actually, it's I, I'm feeling a tingling sensation in my mouth. Ooh, ooh, that's really hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry.